some women with catamenial epilepsy, a hormonally mediated seizure disorder, seem to respond very well to cyclical progesterone. Dr. Herzog, you, your phase three trial found that some women with epilepsy actually have a hormonally mediated form that can respond very well to progesterone therapy. Yes, so some women uh, have seizures that seem to relate to their menstrual cycle mm -hmm. such that they have more seizures either at the time of menstruation or around mid-cycle or in some women who don't ovulate throughout the entire second half of the cycle. Mm -hmm. the, this finding would suggest that their seizure occurrence might relate to hormonal changes during the menstrual cycle and if their seizures, seizure occurrence is affected by hormones then seizure treatment might also involve hormones. So you had a, uh, an, NI an NIH supported trial that looked at progesterone therapy in women with this kind of uh, catamenial epilepsy. So we had 462 women enrolled. We uh, randomized 294 uh, separately for women who did show catamenial epilepsy and for women who did not show catamenial epilepsy. They were randomized two to one to progesterone or placebo mm -hmm. lo matching lozenges. And then they were treated for three months after three baseline months of mm -hmm. data collection. But only the women who had a perimenstrual exacerbation of their seizures really responded to this. That is correct. So overall, we found no difference between progesterone and placebo, but we did find a substantial difference in the women who had perimenstrual worsening of their seizures, such that the greater the worsening of their seizures perimenstrually around the time of their period, the greater their response to progesterone. Now, progesterone obviously isn't approved for this indication, but you've been using it in this way for quite a while and have had good results with it. That is also correct. So progesterone <coughs> is a natural substance that uh, occurs in humans and animals, but also in plants. So this is a soy-derived purified progesterone that one can administer in dosages that produce physiological range, luteal phase range levels in the bloodstream. The lozenges are dissolved in the mouth and they're absorbed through the lining of the mouth into the bloodstream and one can measure the levels which we usually do four hours after taking a lozenge to standardize how much is given. Any hope for this ever reaching uh, FDA's desk? So basically the fact that this was the that the principal positive finding was the result of a pre-specified secondary analysis means that we now have to set up this finding as the hypothesis for a primary analysis mm -hmm. which means repeating the study and to repeat the study we have to identify the women who have a notable perimenstrual worsening of their seizures and then again to randomize them to progesterone or placebo and compare baseline to treatment phase. This is Michelle Sullivan reporting from Baltimore for Global Medical News Network.